All right, now over to some space news. Jeff Bezos's Blue Origin is readying a reusable New Shepard rocket and capsule for today's launch. This is the 12th in a series of unpiloted test flights before the suborbital craft begins actually carrying uh, stuff for paying customers up into space. RT's Trinity Chavez has been following the story all day. Uh, Trinity, so what's the latest? Blue Origin has successfully sent its New Shepard passenger rocket to space. Five, four, command engine start, two, one. As you can see, the moment uh, just happened a few minutes ago, and this after several delays this morning because of the weather. But now, after its successful launch, the new Shepard vehicle and the booster have returned to Earth safe and sound. This after a seven-month hiatus from spaceflight. This is the ninth commercial payload mission for New Shepard, marking the sixth time using this specific spacecraft. For the first one was first launched back in December of 2017. This was number 12 in a series of unpiloted test flights before the rocket begins shuttling patrons to space and back. Jeff Bezos, who is also the founder of Amazon, hopes to one day have a reusable rocket generate revenue by flying wealthy tourists to the edge of space to experience a few minutes of weightlessness. But for now, the rocket is filled with thousands of postcards from kids as well as science experiments from NASA and from students from the University of Columbia here in New York. Now, earlier this year, the company claimed that 2019 would be the year that New Shepard would carry its first crew. In fact, the vehicle that's supposed to fly people is already at Blue Origin's test facility in West Texas, where the company performs its new Shepard launches. However, as I mentioned before, Blue Origin hasn't flown this vehicle since May because the company says that it really wanted to be absolutely sure that the vehicle is ready for people. Blue Origin CEO Bob Smith said in a statement, verifying that you actually have something that's safe and ready to go is where we are. We're just going through all of our systems and making sure that we actually have all those systems right. And while the New Shepard isn't equipped yet to fly people, it has been carrying specific payloads to space along with the research and projects that is in the rocket right now. The last few test flights, it also carried a mannequin named Skywalker that's equipped with sensors to study exactly how the trips will affect human customers in space. Reporting in New York, Trinity Chavez, RT. Hey YouTube, thanks for checking out our channel. We hope you enjoyed the video. We have tons of content for you just like this. For more of RT America's one-of-a-kind news and analysis, be sure to subscribe and never stop questioning more.